So you show up to a party with your friends, you walk into a room and boom, you see her. You're hit by lightning. She is beautiful. But the issue is you're single, your friends are single, and all of you have the same idea. In today's video, we're talking about how to stand out, how to be better looking than your friends. Tip number one, know what the standard is and dress one level above. So I'm not saying wear a three-piece suit. I am saying though, if everyone else is wearing t-shirts and jeans, maybe you wanna step it up with a button down. Everyone else is wearing button downs, maybe you wanna step it up by throwing a jacket. Now I'm not saying that you gotta wear a sports jacket, but I am saying wear a leather jacket, wear a denim jacket, wear something that's gonna build up the shoulders, trim up the waistline, make your hands look larger, make you look more attractive, more masculine, more strong, and therefore more attractive. Tip number two, set yourself apart, Peacock. This comes out of the Neil Strauss book, The Game. But what you're looking to do is stand out in a crowded market by the use of something unique. Now, I'm not saying you need to wear some outlandish hat or a bright jacket, but I am saying find something that is unique to you, something you feel great wearing, and when you wear it, it helps you be memorable. This shirt right here, it's not over the top, but it is something when people see it, they're like, oh, nice shirt. They remember this shirt. This right here will help me stand out from the crowd. Next up, gents, be yourself. And this is really overused. So let me clarify. To be yourself, you need to first know yourself. Most people never take the time to figure out who they are, what they want out of life, what they stand for. Guys, you need to figure this out. You need to know what your why is. You need to know what drives you. And what this is going to do is give you incredible confidence because you're going to approach this person. You're going to talk with other people. You're going to be around your friends and you're going to know what to tolerate, what not to tolerate, when to argue, when to actually disagree and know that you're standing on your own principles. This type of confidence is impossible to ignore. The next tip to be better looking than your friends, gentlemen, take care of your body. What you put into your body, what you eat, how much water you drink, what you do with your body, going to the gym, exercising. This is the one body you have. And believe me, as you get older, this all of a sudden starts to have an exponential effect on how you look. And speaking of how you look, what are you doing for your skin? When you walk outside, guess what? The sun right there is hitting you with those UV rays. That is going to prematurely age your skin. It's going to make you look like a raisin. Well, guys, check out T. Shanley, the paid sponsor of today's video. And let me show you the power of this right here. Let's apply that right on. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks Antonio. I needed that. I needed a little Tiege Hanley in my life. Gentlemen, if you don't have any Tiege Hanley in your life, it's time right now to hit that link down below. The reason why Tiege Hanley is kicking so much ass is because we give you an uncomplicated system that's going to give you the products that you need and not a bunch of extra crap. Every single one of you needs to do a few basic things every single day in order to maximize that handsome face. You gotta A, wash your face twice a day, remove all the dirt, all the oil, all the that builds up. You need to exfoliate twice a week. Exfoliation removes all the dead skin and brings new, fresh, lively skin to the surface. And you need to moisturize in the morning and in the evening. The morning moisturizer is going to have an SPF of 20 so that when you go out and the sun isn't like beating down on your face, making you less attractive. Evening, after you wash your face and you go to bed, you got to make sure that you are giving your face the essential nutrients that it needs in order to look amazing when you wake up. If you're somebody who's a little older, maybe try level two that comes with an anti-aging eye cream or level three which comes with the anti-aging super serum and eye cream. For those of you out there that suffer from acne, Tiege Hanley now has the acne systems. Level one for mild acne, level two for people that have a little bit more severe acne. Every single system you're going to get an information card that tells you exactly how much and what time to use each of the products. If you do not take care of your skin starting now, it's going to be hard to look better than me or Antonio when you're our age because we are old, but we look amazing because we use Tiege Hanley. Antonio, back to you. Guys, I'm linking the Tiege Hanley down in the description of this video with the best discount code you're going to find out there. Use it or lose it, guys. Great company. Proud to support them. Next up, gents, make her laugh. But make sure to use high humor, not low humor. Low humor, that's going to be slapstick comedy. High humor, this is going to be humor that actually is more sarcastic, something that actually requires thought. And by the way, this information is supported by a 2010 study out of the University of Southern Brittany. And what they found is that whenever a man could make a woman laugh, he was three times more likely to get her phone number. Now I get it. Some of you guys are saying, Antonio, I'm not a funny guy. What hope is there for me? Don't worry, guys. If you are smart, if you're well-read, you've got a huge advantage here because most likely you have a bigger 
vocabulary. Now, this is based off research coming out of the University of Nottingham. Large vocabularies are shown to also make a man more attractive. Next up, gents, let's talk about color. So, the use of color in the animal kingdom has been documented in species after species to send signals, hey, I'm ready to mate, I am more dominant, I am stronger, I am therefore more attractive. And guess what? This applies to humans as well. It's the colors red and the color black that most humans are going to find are going to make a man come off as more dominant, as stronger, as therefore more attractive. So, if you like the color black, then use it to your advantage. I'm not saying to wear a full red suit or that you've got to go from wearing your navy blue to black, but what I am saying is be aware that darker, strong, dominant colors can make you more attractive and the use of the color red. Now, there are some other colors out there like orange and purple that were shown to make you a little bit more attractive, but red was the one color that was very clear along with black and a lot of this had to do with how it made you feel. When you feel stronger, when you feel more attractive, you come off as more attractive. Next up, gents, pay attention to the endpoints. The endpoints on the human body are going to be the feet, are going to be near the hands, are going to be around the face. These are the points when we look somebody up and down, we're going to spend a little bit more time on. So, with your shoes, make sure they're polished. Make sure they look good. She notices your shoes. When it comes to your hands, if you're going to wear, you know, a piece of jewelry here, go for it. If you're going to wear a nice watch, make sure it's a nice watch. Then, when it comes to your face and your grooming, you want to make sure that your hair is groomed properly. Guys, take care of your hair. She's going to notice. And let's talk about facial hair. This is its own point because facial hair, when it comes to a little bit of scruff, that five o'clock shadow, that a lot of women do find attractive. Now, a lot of guys, they simply want to go with more of a clean shaven look and that is perfectly fine. Although, some women, they absolutely love beards. Other women don't like beards. So, if you're going to go with facial hair like a beard, know that some people are going to love it. Some people are going to hate it. And let's talk about fragrance. You guys know you don't want to smell bad, so you wear deodorant, but so many of you guys do not have a signature scent, so you need to find it yourself. Go in, try a wide variety of fragrances, find what you like on your body. You want to have one for different seasons. I think every man should have at least three fragrances that he goes through because women are very receptive to fragrances, especially ones that work with your natural chemistry. And guys, this next point, I shouldn't even have to say it. Make sure everything you wear fits your body. Fit is king. Yes, fit, fabric, function, that's my style pyramid, all of them matter, but if you've got to choose one, make sure that clothing fits you because if it doesn't fit you, it's not going to look great. It's not going to complement your build. Every body type, no matter what body type you have, looks better when you're wearing clothing that actually complements that particular build. All right, gentlemen, so what do you think? What did I miss? Let me know down in the comments what you would have added to this video. And I know I didn't spend a whole lot of time on skincare. Go check out this video, seven skincare mistakes that men are making and that you want to fix to be more attractive. Guys, when it comes to your skin, you've got to take care of it. And gentlemen, don't forget, I mean, how could you forget about T. Shanley? I'm linking to him down in the description. Absolutely love what this company is doing, helping men around the world be more attractive by taking care of the largest organ on their body, which is their skin. Raw Bob, Kelly, Aaron, and The Chemist. These guys have taken this idea into an amazing company that I'm proud to support. Guys, go check them out. Again, I'm linking to them down in the description. All right, gentlemen, take care. I will see you in the next video.